We're here at Le Bourget Airport, which is the third biggest in Paris, but it's the main hub here for business aviation. This is where people come who are able to afford the exclusive use of a personal plane. It's also where the president comes when he flies into and out of the French capital. You might be able to see some of those private jets behind me, perhaps even hear them as they are uh, waiting there on the runway here at Le Bourget. Uh, business aviation has come under the spotlight this week after the French Transport Secretary said that he favoured greater regulation of the industry. The government doesn't have a majority in the French Parliament at the moment, but the idea has already got support from the opposition, with the Green Party leader saying that he favours a complete ban on private jet flights, uh, saying that the emissions from those uh, flights are literally poisoning us. Now, the French Transport Secretary has conceded that business aviation is an important economic activity in France, but he also says that everyone in every sector has its part to play, particularly after the president has called for everyone to reduce their emissions and get used to using less energy. Uh, now, the government says that this autumn it will be bringing a bill focused on the environment, but the French Transport Secretary thinks that discussing private jet flights is too an important an issue to be discussed only by uh, national governments and should be debated at EU level uh, as well. There has been a public backlash recently to the use by celebrities of uh, personal planes and also by campaign groups. We know that airline emissions are responsible for about 2 to 3 percent of global CO2 emissions, but of that, private jet flights uh, contribute a carbon footprint five to 14 times greater than commercial flights and 50 times greater than rail travel. Ross Cullen, CGTN at Le Bourget Airport in Paris.